Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jake and I'm here to do a pocket summoner video about the current PvP formation. I'll try to make this fast because the last time I tried to do this it took over 20 minutes and when I tried to upload the video to YouTube it said it was too long. So let's try to go fast here. I'm going to go over everything I think is currently in the meta and being used and explain uh, my current opinions on it. This is just uh, to give people an idea of what to look out for, guard combinations to use and whatnot. So first off, here's the uh, dark version of the new dragon dude. Well, not new. He's probably been in the format for about a month and a half, maybe two. Um, this guy's not very good. And, uh, I mean, he would be good. Look at those abilities. That's pretty solid, strong dark attacks, but he's dark type. And I'd like to stress that dark type is terrible right now because some of the best guards being used right now, like Izine and the new dragon dude, a couple other things that I'm going to go over have light attacks and light just demolishes darks. So the only option for a dark guard is endurance, but the problem with that is that endurance guards only have uh, one hit they can take, basically, because if you're dark, you're going to go down to one from an Izine's hit, and it's just a waste of a guard, in my personal opinion. So, anyway, that's that guy. I don't think he should be used just because of his dark type, otherwise, he'd be pretty solid. A lot of people have hit Clan Shop 12. So Tyler's in the format. Tyler's pretty sweet. Um, I don't think he's great, but he starts out with a really high base speed, which means you can get his speed pretty high up there no matter what level you are. He's he's solid. I mean, you have to build an attack version. That Burning Punch is enticing, but since it's special, you're not going to hit it reliably, so putting points in magic attack is pretty much useless. I'm not going to say that all my guard builds are great, but anyway, I'm already taking too much time, so he's an okay speed guard, but I think he gets trumped because his uh, HP is too low, so I would recommend using other stuff than Tyler, but you're going to see him, and he's pretty easy to beat. You just have a better speed guard, or you go up against an Izine versus him or something. Alright, so we have uh, Bilbo Badgett here, Rexa. People are using him too, but um, stuff like Moo Man, like you have to be higher level to get Moo Man. I, I still haven't gotten him yet because I suck, but... um. Moo Man's better than him, Izine's a better tank, the the Ground Dragon, True Rosa or whatever, is um, better too. So, uh, I mean, he has really insane HP and his abilities are pretty sweet, but I, I just, I stress trying to get that Dragon and Izine and stuff over him, but you'll still see him. Uh, the best way to beat him is with, like, an Izine or a good magic attack speed guard. Um, people are building him with an ass with assault, sometimes endurance, I don't really see why, but... And shield, he's also a good candidate for shield. Anyway, here we go, Wicked, um... He's got great speed, that's undeniable, but dark type again, which makes him suck. Especially if he goes up against Izine, because Izine's defense is just gonna knock him out of the park, so... Pretty much, if you want to be good competitively in PvP, don't use Wicked. The only thing he's good for is countering Outcast, and that's not super important right now. Okay, so we have um, Demon, the transformation of Soul Hunter. I've actually done a lot of experimentation with him recently, and he's really, really good for taking out stuff that's going on right now. Like, um, if you go up against an Izine, you're going to kill the Izine. You'll get one shot by the Izine, but you're still going to kill it. He's also great for taking out Trorosa. He's amazing for taking out shield versions of Izine or Trorosa. So I'd actually suggest uh, trying this guy out if you're having a lot of run-ups against Izine and stuff, and it's really pissing you off. But if you want to take him out, you just use something with wind. So he's pretty easy to counter, but he's a really good counter for a lot of stuff going around. Alright, so we have um, this dude. Shane already did a video on Panth Mage, but he just... Good mage killer, like he said. He'll stop the new wind dragon, which is going to be important in about a month. <laughs> so, um... He's a good counter for a lot of stuff, but he's not great to use. You won't see him very often, and he gets demolished by anything speed with attack. So, um, we used to run up against him. Um, a lot of people are still using Tian Long. He's pretty sweet. I mean, I like him. He has good speed. His, uh, moves are pretty solid. Um, he stops Fire Guard in his tracks. He just takes him out, which is pretty sweet. I like that a lot. And he also stops Demon, isn't very common, but the water is actually important. Like, water hasn't been that important recently, but he stops the new Fire Dragon too, so that's that. Um, some people are using Blood Wolf, you'll see that occasionally. Blood Wolf gets uh, raped by Izine, but if you build him right, put some intelligence in, like I've tried, he actually is pretty good at taking Izine out. 
So, um, you'll see him, pretty much the way to beat him is just use something with Blight that's either faster or tankier, which isn't really hard to find in this format. Um, a lot of people have, uh, Fireguard out there. Fireguard's awesome. He, uh, stops Izine pretty well. He hits Terraza pretty hard. Um, he really gets taken out by that Fire Dragon, though, so if you want to counter him, use, like, the Fire Dragon. That demon is a really good counter for him. Um, but you're seeing, you're gonna see a lot of him, so it's always good to keep him in mind when you're building your PvP team. We, uh, have Soul Hunter here, he's not getting used as much. They're just better guards out there, I mean, I like him because his HP is high, and he has a light and a dark attack that's pretty cool, but, um, his buffs are just pretty bad, like 10% speed, 10% magic attack, 15% attack. People do build him as a, um, attack speed guard. Which is, in my opinion, better, but still not that great because there's stuff like Blade Master and stuff that's just better than him. So I, I really don't recommend using him, and um, I think he's going to die out in PvP pretty soon here. Unless something comes out that he's a good counter to. Um, and then we have this dude. Some people are unlocking him. I'd say in about a month he's going to be pretty common. Um... He's really good for taking out Fire Guard and um, just a lot of the Dark Guards. Anything Dark, he's just going to stomp into the ground. He's the best Speed Guard they've made to date, I think. Besides maybe that Wind Chaser dude that just came out. I'll talk about him in a minute here. But um, he's just really, really good. The only version you're going to run up against him of him that's going to be any problems, and the only version anyone's really using is an endurance speed build, because that's the obvious decision to make here. Anyway. Uh, outcast here. Okay, so, um, he's not being used as commonly. He's a really great counter to Fire Guard or, um, Izine, but there's a lot of stuff that can stop him right now, so I wouldn't recommend using him, but if you're going up against him, you're probably going to have an Izine, so you'll just take him out. But, uh, I don't recommend using him at this point because the format's changing a lot right now, so he's not very great. And then we have Blade Master here. He's uh he's pretty solid. But um there are better speed guards out right now. I guess that's not the point of this video, the point is what you're going up against. Um if you see him you're pretty much gonna have to have a tank like a shield guard or something. That'll take him out pretty quick. And an Izine. Izine just stomps him. Um, and then we have uh, Mr. Fire Dragon here. The only build you're really going to see of him that actually works is a speed build. You just have a faster speed guard, you'll take him out. Tian Long actually like walks all over him. It's really funny to watch. <laughs> Not that Tian Long is great, but... And then we have uh, big old fatty right here, Sean Connery. Everybody's using him. 90% of the PvP battles you're going to have against people your own level if you're in the upper 50s or whatever, people are going to be using him. There aren't a lot of counters to him. I mean, there are, like, Fire Guard and uh, Outcast and Soul Hunter, but the whole point is those guards aren't, like, that great. The only reason people are using them is to stop him. That's an unfortunate byproduct of the meta. So, uh, want to beat him? Use him or a counter. That's what you're gonna do. That's what you have to do right now until he goes out of circulation, which probably won't be for a long time, if ever. Um, and then we have the normal ground dragon. People are building him with shield. This guy hasn't killed Moo Man, so I feel like a hypocrite, but I haven't even ran into a Moo Man to try him out on yet. I'm sure this build won't work. I'll probably have to put some magic defense to do something. I, I don't know. I haven't figured it out yet. I probably look like a dummy. Actually, I hope so. But anyway, um, you're going to run into shield builds of him. Occasionally, you've seen endurance or an assault build, but those guys are easy to kill. The one you want to watch out is for shield. That's why I said demon works against him, because he has a fire attack. Um, that's pretty much all I really wanted to talk about. That and uh, chaos. You'll see him occasionally. He's pretty pretty shitty. He's just another dark guard, so you can take him out pretty easily. And then there's Moo Man. You'll always see him with Assault or Shield, and he's just really annoying to take out. It's just wars. Like, if you have an Assault Izine, it'll be a battle between the two for a little while, and then one will come out, and... Shield Moo Man is just awesome. That's all I can say. Um, 
I want to give a shout out to no one because I don't know anyone who's offered me advice or anything. So, uh, haha. <laughs> Live strong. Have any comments, uh, feel free to insult me and or uh, congratulate me on any sort of matter. See you later, fools.